so welcome back to my channel today's video is all on highlighting and contouring the face so if you guys didn't tune in onto my Instagram live which is on Saturdays 1 p.m. Australia Eastern Standard Time please don't forget to follow my Instagram page because I, would, I do like random looks and stuff and I do it live there before I actually post a YouTube video. So yes, this is my routine for contouring and highlighting. This has been like my technique for a very, very long time. I really haven't changed much. I The products I use is pretty much the same all the time. I do, however, I've got, let me show you. Something did arrive in my puss and I did order the new Fenty Cream Blush and Bronzer, so I will definitely be doing a video on that very soon, so stay tuned for that. So don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button to get notified whenever I post up a new video. So if you see how I do my contouring and highlighting, please keep on watching. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've already got my foundation on. I also did my brows and my eyes just to quick the process up. Um, but I will list everything down below in the description box So if you want to know what I use, please check down below there Alright, so before we get started, I'm just going to quickly run over the description of highlighting and contouring So highlighting the face, you're enhancing features on your face, so you're bringing them forward um, So pretty much where the lights will naturally hit your face So like, you know, your forehead, high points of the cheeks tip of your nose and on your bridge of the nose as well as your chin those are like the areas of the face that the night will actually that the light will lightly hit however with contouring it's pretty much the opposite you are creating a shadow so you're pretty much hiding features of the face so for example like um, the hollow parts of the cheekbone underneath your jawline and above around the forehead so just on the outer perimeter of the face and what this does is actually creating shape and depth so just creating more structure like as you can tell right now I've only got foundation on so my face looks really flat but the highlighting and contouring um, techniques is going to bring the features and the shape back to my face I hope that makes sense yes let's get started so the products that I love to use when I highlight will um, contour and highlight. Um, I'm going to use my NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is a great concealer underneath the eyes. It does not crease. It has a really nice consistency so it just smooths and blends right on, onto your skin very very smooth. Um, another dupe for that is actually the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I am actually going to probably use a bit of both because my, my NARS one is running low, so I might not have enough product to use, but that's okay. I'll just go on top with the Maybelline Fit Me. And then for my contouring, I'm going to be using the Matchsticks by Fenty Beauty and in the shade Truffle. Uh, this is the contour shade. So when you're using a highlighting shade, so underneath your eyes, you want to choose a shade about two to three shades lighter than your natural complexion. And then with your contouring, you want to use three, two to three shades deeper than your natural complexion. So beginning with the creamy concealer, I'm going to take that and I'm going to draw, see there's hardly any products left in this, underneath my eyes, sweep out and it's a triangle shape, like so. And this shade is going to help make my dark under eyes uh, circles completely covered. Uh, it has a nice brightening effect. So just adding that to the other side as well. Now if you have a more mature skin type, I recommend using less product. Less is definitely more. So if, for example, like this may be a bit too much. But if you've got more mature skin, I'll use a little bit on the inner corner like so and maybe just a dash uh, a bit above there and that will be it. Um, but I'm just going to do that. Because I don't, I'm running low, I'm just going to take my Maybelline Fit Me. This is in the shade medium. Just going with the top just to kind of, just a little bit more product. So that's underneath my eyes. Now, even before doing this under um, the under eye concealer, if you've got blemishes like pimples or redness um, on the base of your skin, 
I would actually conceal that with your natural complexion color so you wouldn't want to go over a zit or something with a light shade like this because that's going to make it more prominent so go in first with your natural skin concealer and then start doing all of this let's continue on so taking back that concealer I'm also gonna take it into the center of my forehead like so just like a little fan and down the bridge of my nose another tip on the chin and I do get a little bit redness around my nostrils like around here so I'm just gonna pop a little bit there to lighten that part up too and it's optional if you want to add a little bit above your cupid's bow and that will actually help make your lips look nice and full so this is where I would normally hi or highlight um, my features on my face and then I'll take my cream contouring matchstick um, now this part you want to make sure you want to get it at a right angle because you don't want to bring your contour too low here where it will make your cheek area a bit low but then you don't want to go up too high because then when you pop your blush and your highlighter it's just going to look really muddy and messy um, so the trick to know where to contour is you can do your sucking face and that will actually show you where your hollows of the cheeks is so for example like mine is like there another thing is if you grab your brush and get just the barrel of your brush turn your head to the side look in the mirror and you want to put the brush on the tip of your earlobe and take it to the corner of your lip and that is naturally where you would like to contour so if you're unsure maybe just do that and then you can go in with your cream um, or like I said do the sucky face alright so I'm gonna go in that angle bring it down and I kind of curve a little bit at the end this is just gonna kind of like help cut my cheeks so it makes it more plump but if you don't like that you don't have to just go straight in but I personally like it um, and then I'm going to go on the outside on the temples the forehead bring it to the other side like so and then down below my jawline like that. so this is the shadow creating that shadow part so it's important to make sure that your cream contour is matte um, and it doesn't have any glitters or anything like that because it's going to defeat the purpose It's going to actually attract the light and it's going to bring forward that feature where really we are wanting to hide the feature um, So stick to matte formula. Anyways, as you can see, that's where I will contour. So if you have a bigger forehead, you can um, make the illusion of a smaller forehead by just bringing the contour a bit further down as well as your jaw so if you have a wide jaw you can make it look smaller by bringing the contour maybe a little bit higher like that um, but yeah it's all about just seeing the type of like your face shape and what's the best or what's your favorite personal kind of look um, but yeah it's just Play around, play around. So you can now blend out everything and the tools that I love to use are for my underneath the eyes. I use just my wet sponge um, that I use to apply for my foundation as well. But for my contour, I like to use a stippling brush. So this one is just the Makeup Geek Angled Stippling Brush. So it's really nice and dense. Um, so it's going to really help buff the product into my skin. If you don't have an angled stippling brush, you can definitely go back in with your sponge as well, um, which I find that the sponge kind of has a nice natural finish if you like. And I'm just going to blend out my concealer, just in a patting motion, and then bringing it up and out. So see how I'm bringing it out all the way to my temples because it's going to help give me a nice face lift, the lift, <laughs> face lift effect and you know you don't have to cream contour um, you can totally skip this step and go straight to a powder um, which we're going to be doing after all this cream and with the powder it's actually if you want a more natural fish finish I'll, I'll just do that like I wouldn't do all this cream stuff but 
yeah like I said it's up to you it's like what what type of look you're after so really getting into the inner part of your eye as well a lot of people get really dark in there so that will help um, cover it up and make your eyes look really nice and awake oh my god you guys I completely forgot to take a photo of for my thumbnail for this video so <laughs> and I realized I didn't even contour my nose which is the most important part so before so I've added I have to redo my concealer but it's okay um, and what I did was actually I contoured my nose with that and a little bit on my eyes. I honestly can't believe I forgot Oops. yes so let's just come um, let's continue um, Let's blend that concealer up. I'll just be extra full coverage. Okay. <laughs> concealer done. Now, going back with my brush, I'm going to blend out my contour cream. So I'm trying to blend and pushing it up instead of down because I don't want the contour to go too low. But if you do make a mistake and it does go a little bit down, don't stress. Grab your beauty, beauty blender and just kind of clean it up just like that all good and then the temple and above my forehead so when you're contouring make sure as well you choose a sh the shade with a nice undertone like nothing too warm nothing too cool like for myself I've got that nice like the golden um, tan complexion so I don't want to choose a contour cream that is too cool tone because if I use that it makes it looks like there's mud on my face just like a really gross muddy patch and but yeah if you're more fair um, the cooler undertone will be best uh, if you're more warm and deep complexion like myself go for the warmer tone so as you can see that's already got that nice definition back to my face um, it's nice and highlighted in the areas that I like as well as um, uh, the contour is just creating that nice structure to my face there if you forget like this shape here just remember it's like the opposite three shape I always tell my clients when you want to contour your face remember opposite three on each side and then you just fill in the areas with your highlight let's just do that again to the other side blending up and doing my sucky face and like I said if you don't have the brush it's okay you can just use your sponge as well just make sure it's a damp sponge okay now I'm going to blend out my contour on the nose um, I've actually got this really cool brush from Daiso, it was like probably under three bucks and it's just got this nice tapered like area and it's just the perfect size to contour your nose with. I highly recommend checking it out. If not you can use just like a thin, a thin small brush or even your fingertips. Your fingertips will definitely work as well. So I'm blending that as well up and connecting it to my brow so it has that nice natural shadow so it's not like a big like a distinct disconnect so it's all blended in nicely together and just at the tip there because I have a really round button nose I kind of want to make it a little bit more smaller <laughs> just like that perfect so that's the cream base done so you want to do creams first before your powder you don't want to do it the other way around or else it can get cakey and patchy and it's, an, it's not pretty so now I'm going to set everything with powder and the powder I'm going to use underneath my eyes is the L'Oreal Mercier translucent powder it's honestly it's worth the hype it's honestly the best translucent powder out there it doesn't alter the color of the foundation or concealer or whatever you've got on uh, and it just smooths everything out and I find that it hides my pores it like blurs my pores so get your hands on this it's oh how much you get one full ounce so 29 grams of product and this bad boy I use it all the time for myself use it for my clients and it lasts me a really long time so it's definitely worth your 
worth your money. I'm going to take my wet beauty sponge and I'm just going to pick up some like that just on the tip there and what I do is I'm going to set the area that we did the concealer underneath the eyes pushing the product in and setting it right there. So it's, so it's just like baking and this is going to just ensure that the concealer doesn't crease it's not going to budge and I'm just going to lay on top another layer just like so and then I kind of push it in towards the nose where I contoured and stopped like that and then I'm going to go in with my brush I just got a nice tape a uh, Morphe M438 brush it's got that nice taper tapered shape and I'll just setting the other area that I've highlighted so above here down the bridge of my nose here and here also make sure to powder the areas where you you know when you smile you have smile lines to prevent the smile lines really being so prominent stick your tongue out and push your skin out and then powder over the top and this is really making sure it's getting into that crease so it reduces the look of the crease does that make sense yes So yeah, that's a really good tip to um, reduce your smile lines from showing throughout the day. Now I'll just let that powder under the eye sit for a bit, or bake for a bit, and then I'm going to take my bronzing powder. Um, this is Refined Golden by MAC, um, it's just this nice bronzer that I love to use, and I'm going to... Pretty much use this powder with my big face brush, tap off the excess, and I'm going over the top of the areas that I've uh, I've like contoured. So yeah, I'm just going over the top just to set everything down in place, bring colour back to my face, just very very lightly, and using a big brush just makes it a lot quicker and easier. And don't forget underneath your jawline and blending it down to your neck as well. Now I'm just getting the brush again from Morphe, the M438 brush. And I'm just going to sweep off the excess of the powder underneath the eyes. Oh my gosh, looks so much better already. Like... From initially just with my foundation without any contouring and highlighting and now it's all coming together all right so i'm just going to quickly pop on some lip products and blush and then i'm going to finish off with a powder highlight so give me a moment and we're back Ooh. yes so as you can tell i have as you can tell as you can see i have popped the rest of my uh, face on so i did my blush finished off my eye look and added some lippy so what i got on my lips right now is uh makeup revolution uh liquid lipstick in the shade noble so the last part is my favorite part and that is highlighting um so can you guys guess what highlighter I'm going to be using? A hundred points if you guessed Where's Perth Kilt by MAC. I don't know if you guys seen my last video. <laughs> I clearly raved about this highlighter. I've been using this highlighter every day for the past three, three weeks. A couple of weeks. I don't know. But I guess it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, so I'm just going to grab some of this highlighter and gonna pop this on the high points of my cheeks so as you can see when I smile um, you see the apples like the circular part here um, you want to pop it above so just place it on top here oh, yes so you pop it on top there and I kind of also bring it up above my brow here and then blend it out like that so in a C shape. Look 
connect that together. So this is the area where, when the light will naturally hit your face. So pop it a little bit more here. Ooh. If you like to glow, this is the highlighter for you. Above here. Above here. And connect it like that. And then above your cupid's bow, you get that nice little pout. And then just on the finger, I'm gonna place a little bit on the tip, uh, on the bridge here as well. And I feel like that kind of helps with the contour as well, so it makes my nose look slimmer. But chin. And that is that. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you found that very helpful. If you guys got any tips or tricks that you love to do with your contour and highlighting, please leave them in the comments down below because I would love to find out and um, see from you guys. Um, but yes, uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe and like to my channel. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. So, let's just hold on. Oh, sorry, I got a bit of a hatch. So lipstick I've used. Oh, sorry, itching over.